Wes, good to see you. I have a million dollar question. Should I invest in gold? Investors who are concerned about a recession are putting their money in safe havens. And gold is usually seen as a safe haven when markets and economies are facing headwinds. We are certainly living in uncertain times right now. So does investing in gold make sense? Well, you are correct, Aaron, in that gold is a very hot topic right now. And I mm -hmm. think during times of uncertainty, at least heightened times um, of uncertainty, we see a lot more ads about buying gold now right. than ever. And I do believe that gold has its place in a portfolio. Um, it's just a matter of how do you want to buy it? How much do you want to buy? What percentage does that represent in a portfolio? Um, but there are really, if I could just mention it, two main ways to overall manage money. And that would be more passively or actively. And passively means that you just simply hold on to your investments for a long period of time without a lot of change going on. And in that case, even if you had some exposure to gold for the last 10, 20, 30 years, it hasn't necessarily hurt you. Um, but from an active standpoint, there are times that it could make sense to have maybe more of a heavier tilt to an asset class such as gold. Um, but again, it's not the, you know, the answer for your entire portfolio, because at the end of the day, gold doesn't necessarily produce something like yield, which if you're a retirement investor, um, obviously most of us need cash flow coming off of the portfolio. And while it mm -hmm. can help reserve our dollar denominated assets, um, it doesn't produce current cash flow. So that's just something to consider when adding it to a portfolio. So I'd like to talk through then if I do want to invest in gold, how do I do it? How do I incorporate it in my portfolio? Or do I, like these other shoppers, head over to Costco and buy the gold bars, which Wes, they can't even keep in stock. They're selling out in just a few hours. That is, it is pretty wild. It is. And there, there are multiple places to buy gold. And now being Costco is, is certainly one of them. At the end of the day, just make sure that you're looking at a viable retailer if you're looking to purchase physical gold. So that could be gold bullion or um, coins. Um, but if you're holding on to the physical metals, um, that source for that purchase would be what we call non qualified money. So not from a retirement account per se unless you're holding and, and, and paying a depository uh, to hold on to your gold that is your IRA. So in that, in that case, you certainly could do that, but there are uh, pretty high fees in doing so. So physical gold is one way to, to purchase it. Another way to have exposure to it would be through an exchange traded fund. Um, an example of that would be um, one of the oldest that's been around for a long time is GLD. That's the ticker um, that represents uh, the exchange traded fund that um, is backed by physical gold metals. So that's the second one. The third and final way to perhaps have exposure to gold, Aaron, would be to own stocks that are mining stocks um, for physical metals. And uh, so you would participate in the success of those companies. Mm -hmm. So what if though maximizing the growth of my portfolio is my priority? And I'm trying to show you a gold slide here, but my buttons are a little bit slow. But Wes, like you mentioned, retirees among others, we need to be thinking about income, yield, growth. And preservation, right? That, that That's another piece yeah. to it. But if growth was the primary uh, thought for your portfolio, gold may not be the best pick for that for a large portion. Because um, as we can see here, over a long time period, gold has actually lagged the S&P and the Dow over the last 30 years. But if we look at different time periods, maybe it's the last 10 years or uh, 15 years, gold has done quite well. And so, again, it just depends on the period of time that we're looking at. Um, but at the end of the day, this purchasing gold is more of kind of an insurance, if, if you will, against our U.S. dollar denominated assets. So I think it has a place in a portfolio. But if growth is your number one um, goal, um, then, you know, usually that would be purchasing more things like growth or oriented asset classes like stocks. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe that's tech stocks. I mean, if we if we were to compare gold to the NASDAQ, I mean, the NASDAQ would be obviously greatly um, have outperformed gold. But again, it has a place in a portfolio. It's about working with an advisor to help you establish how much of it should be in my portfolio based on what my goals are. Right. So to have that conversation with you, what's the best way to reach you? 
you can simply reach out 919-322-4113 is our phone number or shoot us a message online. Visit our website, patriotwealthnc.com. All right, Wes, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.